UK. My name is Michael Jameson and this is the International Burger Project. We're at the Harrow in Aylesbury. Here's how we got here and also some information about the International Burger Project. So this is Claire and I walking through Aylesbury Town to get to the Harrow, a traditional British pub. As I say, we are taking part in the International Burger Project, which is a collaboration between several YouTube channels. It's all been arranged by Critical Eats Japan. Really great channel and a really nice guy. Very articulate and he's got a very cool channel. He is eating all the foods from the Japans and check it out. From the USA, we've got Yum Yucky. She's got food reviews and she does a lot of fitness type things with like Nutri Bullets and health. Uh, really cool channel, check her out. Representing Australia is What Chef. Again, a really cool guy, as the name suggests. He does a bit of cooking and recipes and Australian food reviews. From Canada, we've got Pamela Warren. She is uh, probably quite similar to us, really. Um, kind of food reviews for all kind of Canadian type things and with really good personality and varied content. And then last but by no means least is Food Travel Dude. He is from the Netherlands, he's actually a British guy who moved to the Netherlands and he travels around eating all kinds of weird kind of Hollandish, is that it? Netherlands ish? Netherlands -dish, dish foods. Uh, and he's really cool, he's got he's very lively and he's a really cool camera setup. Um, so he's actually a friend of the show. Anyway, we've arrived at the Harrow now, so let's go inside and try their burgers. So this is the burger. Yeah, so really Smells really good. Claire's gone for the New Yorker, so not quite as British. The bacon looks really good quality. For this kind of burger, I use a nice bit of Got a nice bit of open there. Mm. Oh wow, that is a really nicely seasoned burger. Weighing in at £9.50, it is perhaps a touch expensive. However, what I'm blown away by, not blown away, but impressed by, is the seasoning on the beef. The beef tastes really good, really high quality. Quite nice and salty, which I personally really like. The bacon is really good quality. The cheese as well, it's a very thick slice of cheese. So you can actually taste and feel the texture in your mouth. Really, really impressive. The bun's very good, the chips are decent. Uh, the burger garnish. Salad and tomato, nice. Just adds a bit of texture and sweetness. I'm very impressed with this. This is the first time I've had a burger at the Harrow. And yeah, I'd say this is definitely a very good example of a British burger. The bacon really does lend a really, really nice smokiness. And it tastes like extremely high quality bacon. Really good. And the beef is very, very tender. On the menu it says that it's served medium. I'd say it's probably medium well, but that's probably perfect for me. You shouldn't necessarily have burgers medium. You should have them well done every time, really. Because it's safe on a steak because all the bacteria is cooked on the outside. But with a, sorry, bacteria is on the outside and it's cooked on the outside, even on rare. But with a burger, it's chopped up and minced. So the bits on the outside get into the middle, so that's why you should cook them thoroughly. Having said that, the texture of the beef is so tender. It's really, really good. I would give this a, a low five stars. Very nice. So thanks very much for watching everyone. As I say, please check out the other channels. They're really, really good guys and girls. And the links are in the description to this video. Support us on all the social medias. You know we got the Twitter, the Instagram and the Facebooks, all of them. And subscribe for more videos. That is the shop that uh, David Flavin, the former Food Review UK presenter who has disappeared off the face of the earth. Uh, that is where he sold the telephones to the terrorists that set off the bombs in London to. So, he sold them the phones? He sold them the phones, not intentionally obviously, obviously yeah. but, well, not, no, intentionally, but he just didn't know it was them.